This is in second. I love shortbread cookies. I can't help it. So what's going on today, guys? Today I'm gonna do a little tutorial on... Hey, Bobby. Oh, my Bobby. Good boy. Okay, I gotta shoot a video now. I love you. Today I'm gonna to show you how I do the Galaxy Swirl dies. It's just, this is just a how-to video. Uh, I'm gonna be doing it on the Discmania Origin. If you haven't thrown this disc yet, it's awesome. But this Neoplastic is a fantastic die holder. Haven't decided if I'm going to die both of them yet, um, but I probably will, because these are both going straight in the bag. And I have to match my color scheme. Can't be having off color scheme discs in my bag. So that's what we're doing. Today is the Galaxy Die tutorial. Okay, so the first thing we want to make sure we do is we wash the discs with soap and water. Uh, I usually prefer to use dish soap. I can't say dish soap. So what I usually do is I prefer to use some dish soap. Uh, it's really good at getting any grease that's on the disc off. Uh, it also keeps your hands from being too greasy when you're handling the discs after they've been cleaned. Really grind your finger kind of around the edge of the disc because that's where most uh, grease can build up from your hands if you've been throwing the disc already. And then uh, we can move on to the next step after that's all done. After we dry them off completely dry, we'll be good to go. So this part is just kind of a list of things that you're going to want so that you can use them during this process. First, you will need some trays you can get at the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, uh, like I did right here. See, simple plastic trays, real easy, real, uh, real cheap. You can get them for a dollar, and they're a little bit wider than the disc, so they hold all the shaving cream in so you don't get any push out, uh, which can mess with how the die sets. The next thing you're gonna need is some shaving cream, also from the Dollar Tree. It's dollar shaving cream, and it's a big can, really easy to come by, so snag one of those as well. And then we move on to the most important part, which is the die. Uh, for the liquid die, you're gonna use Rit Dye More Synthetic. Make sure that when you get this bottle, double check, because I've had people message me, it says synthetic in the little gray bar, because if you use just the one that's for standard cotton, uh, it's not going to sink into the disc. You need something that is good for those polymers, uh, the, uh, the polyurethane style of material, which is dye more synthetic. Also, the other kind of dye you'll need is called eye dye poly. Make sure that it's eye dye poly, not just eye dye. Uh, it comes in these little powder forms. There's a little like package in there for like to help the dye stick more. You can just throw that away. That's for uh, fabrics. And you can just put the powder in little jars. Uh, I label the top of them and I just use the back end of a plastic knife to kind of drizzle it on. So eye dye poly is also important. Editor Chris here, just wanted to say real quick, forgot to mention water bottle. You need a water bottle filled with water for spraying on the foam. In video, Chris forgot to mention you, but editing Chris, this guy right here, he doesn't forget, so you're welcome. All right, back to the video. Okay, so what we have here first is some shaving cream and a tray. What we're gonna wanna do is shake this shaving cream up. Don't be shy about it. You gotta make sure it's real nice and shook, you know? We are going to take the shaving cream and we are going to give it a little good spray into the thing. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the shaving cream creates a, a boundary between the bottom of the tray and what you can see. So basically just don't leave any holes, cover the entire bottom of the tray. That should be good enough. Okay, so now that we're done with that, what we're gonna do is take a flat edge. I just have a piece of styrofoam here that I took from a package. It's nice and flat. It's about the width of the tray, so I like to use this. We're just going to smooth out 
the shaving cream to where it looks almost completely flat on top. Oh my gosh, that one's getting away from me. Boom. In here, gotta come back now. So basically what we're doing here is I'm taking the butt end of a paintbrush and just tracing out a figure eight right here because I want almost like two galaxies running into each other. And I just want to kind of know where to put the dye relative to the uh, colors and situation on the disc. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking blue and pink dye. Uh, in these bottles is Rit liquid synthetic dye, uh, cut half and half with water, maybe closer to 60% dye, 40% water. And I just put it in these little bottles with these pop tap caps so I can drizzle it onto the foam a little bit easier. You can find these bottles at the Dollar Tree for, well, a dollar for like a three pack. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is on one of them, I'll do pink around the outside in blue bursts from the inside circles, and on the other one, I'll do vice versa. So let's start with the blue around the outside one, and later on, we'll do the pink around the outside. So you don't need a, a butt ton of dye dripped on there. You just want to cover, for the most part, where it's going to be. So there's the blue along the outside, and then we want these inner circles to be pink. Easy peasy. There we go. You want to try to mix the dye as little as possible at first. Now that we have the liquid dye done, let's jump over to the powder. So what I have right here is some purple, some blue, and some pink eye dye poly powder. And so first things first, we'll go with a little bit of pink. And I'm just going to sprinkle this very lightly on the inside of the pink circles, kind of covering the empty spaces. This, it's okay if you overlap the powder a little bit to the outside of the circle. That'll actually give it a real nice burst effect. Oh yeah, that's looking good. And now instead of just doing the blue inside of all the blue, I'm actually gonna use the purple. Uh, it gives a better transition effect when you sprinkle it in there. So we'll sprinkle the purple just a little bit closer, kind of overlapping where some of the pink may have uh, dripped as well. Okay, then last I'm going to take the blue, and the blue is really for these outer corner edges, where I'm going to just kind of sprinkle this into anywhere along the very edges to make sure that we don't have any white spaces when we dye the disc. Oh, that's fine. Happy accidents lead to awesome creative breakthroughs. All right, so now I'm gonna take this spray bottle. So we're just gonna spritz the top of this. And I'm just gonna walk in a circle around, give some light sprays from way up high so the water just kind of falls down and I'm not really disturbing the foam. If it'll freaking spray, now it's not even working. This should be good. Looks all nice and, uh, Moist. Ooh, hate that I use that word. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that uh, paintbrush again and I'm gonna start swirling out from the middle of these right here. Bring it all the way out. And I'm gonna do it from this one as well, maybe in the opposite direction. We'll see how that goes, huh? And then maybe out here, I'll just add additional little swirls just to kind of fill in the gaps. That's it, that's all I need to do. Now we need to put the disc in the bed. Okay, so when placing the disc in the bed, you wanna to try to make sure there's no air pockets underneath the lid. So what you can do is kind of hold it like this. And I usually put one side down a little bit first. You can actually see as the die starts to touch the disc. Luckily, this is kind of um, see-through almost, almost a little bit translucent. So I can tell there's no air bubbles. Give that little push there, make sure the die comes all the way around the edges at least the top part of the disc. Cool, now that's good. We're going to set this aside and leave it for mm, maybe four or five hours and then see how it looks after that. Okay, so now that that one's done, what I'm gonna do is I'll do the other one, but I'm actually gonna post that on TikTok. I'll leave my tag right here on the screen and let's watch part of it right now. Whoa, that's what you do. Wow, look, there's a lot of useful information. This TikTok's pretty cool. 
Maybe go follow it. Also on Instagram and Facebook, maybe at Glow Butter and at Glow Butter Discs. I don't know. Could be fun to check it out. All right, enough shameless self promotion. Let's see how that uh, first disc turned out. Whoa, what? <laughs> Almost dropped that one. All right, gotta put, put on my full on waiter skills. Whoop. Oh no, he's wearing a different sweater. Continuity break, oh no. I don't think I was in the frame. Am I in the frame right here? Hey guys, sorry about that. My head wasn't in the frame. Got the discs out in the trays. Gotta film one for TikTok, one for this video, but I'll show you both of them. Uh, they've been sitting for maybe six, seven hours. <sighs> Turn on the water. Sleeve one, sleeve two. I'm trying to squat, so I'm in the, I just went to the gym, so my squat game is just on right now. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's a little bit of a, like a lighter one. I like it, I like it, I like it. So I think after seeing this one, I'm gonna wait to pull the other one until tomorrow. Cause this one's kind of light. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Which for you guys will be about now. All right, so it's the next day. And uh, why don't we just get to rinsing this disc off? Ooh, my favorite part. Uh, okay, okay, it looks all right. Um, little disappointed with the sharpness of the lines that came out on the disc. Uh, but all in all, I think it looks better than just the plain white. It's kind of fun. It still has the Galaxy vibe to it. Uh, it's just not as potent as some other dyes. The way this is, this usually comes out. Uh, so what I would say here that we did wrong is we stored it in too cold of a temperature, but I think the disc came out cool overall. And uh, note that for next time, I'll just store it in the house. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you got some sort of help from it. If you did, please hit the like button. Also, maybe hit the subscribe button, huh? If you wanna see more tutorials on how to do things or me and my friends playing disc golf or me doing stuff. Also, check out my TikTok. That's where most of my disc dies go. And most discs are on sale at my Instagram, so you can check that out as well. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to throw up. Oh, 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 oh,